good morning uh, to all the delegates present here and uh, my colleagues and dear students. It is a pleasure for me uh, to actually uh, to uh, give this inaugural address for the seminar which is entitled uh, uh, Talib Amuli, the Poet Laureate of the Mughal Safavid era. I also express my deep gratitude to the Iran Culture House in Delhi for all their support. The Center for Persian and Central Asian Studies has been at the forefront of teaching and research since its inception. Its work is limited not just to teaching the language, but spans the spectrum of literature, culture, and society. It is no surprise that the center is known the world over for its exceptional work. Many faculty members, old and new, have contributed to the growth of the center and made it what it is today. So we are actually standing on the shoulder of giants when it comes to the organization of today's seminar. This seminar, I understand, is dedicated to the poet laureate Talib Amuli and is aimed at bringing Central Asia closer to India through his work. As the famous poet T.S. Eliot once remarked, poetry often communicates before it is understood. And Talib Amuli's metaphorical style is a testament to this remark. Though I have not read his poetry, I am given to understand that he incorporated elements of mathematics, geometry and philosophy in his poems. And I also understand that he was po uh, Emperor Jahangir's poet laureate and has the distinction of having written the maximum number of verses. So his life and works kindles the curiosity and interest of even people like me who are totally unacquainted with his work. As a school, we hope that this one-day seminar sets the platform to bring Central Asia closer to India through poetry. Uh, I wish the seminar all the best and uh, thank you.